But over the last week, the Democrats held the darkest and angriest and gloomiest convention in American history. They spent four straight days attacking America as racist and a horrible country that must be redeemed. Joe Biden grimly declared a season of American darkness. And yet, look at what we've accomplished until the plague came in. Look at what we've accomplished. And now we're doing it again. It's the most successful period of time in the history of our country from every standard. Look what we've accomplished. And now this play comes in, and look at the way they talk. But look at what's happening, and look at how we're shooting up. We call it a super V. It's no longer a V. It's a super V. And they didn't think that could happen, and they're probably not happy about it. They want to punish America and its citizens instead of holding them high. Where Joe Biden sees American darkness, I see American greatness. We've seen heroic doctors and nurses racing into action to save lives. We've seen first responders helping strangers in need. We've seen the passage of historic legislation to save 50 million American jobs. We've mobilized American industry like never before. We've built military hospitals from scratch, produced life-saving therapies, and we're on track to develop the most incredible, from a standpoint of time, record time, vaccines. We have vaccines. You'll be reading about them very soon, way, way ahead of schedule, years ahead of schedule. This would have been where we are now, phase three trials, clinical trials. Uh, you wouldn't have been there in two or three years if you went back to another administration. It's time to reject the anger and the hate of the Democrat Party. We have the biggest election coming up of our lifetime. No party can lead America that spends so much time tearing down America. But the biggest part of last night's speech was what Joe Biden didn't talk about. He didn't talk about law enforcement. He didn't talk about bringing safety to Democrat-run cities that are totally out of control and they have no clue. China was never mentioned in any way, shape, or form. China will own our country if he gets elected. They will own our country. And we're not going to let that happen.